Hey guys, Crabfruit here. Um, I'm an animator by trade and Tress and Robotics thought that it would be a good idea for me to do a review of this uh, this humanoid robot. This is the Bioloid kit and um, I'd just like to point out that um, I have no programming skills. I can't write a single line of code. So something like this can be pretty intimidating for um, an artist, an animator. Um, but one of the cool things is that it does come with software that um, is, is pretty pretty uh, graphical, so I'll be showing you that next. But first I want to point out that this is a modular system, so you can actually mount these brackets in a lot of different ways to, to make the frame of the robot. It comes with um, a bunch of uh, projects that you can build, and it's kind of like an erector set or Legos kind of thing. Uh, from really simple to really complex and each one um, comes with a like sample motions and behaviors and stuff it does have a bunch of sensors in, in the head as well um, but mainly what I'm interested in this kit and in, uh, in any robot is the, the illusion of life coming from the artist and animator standpoint so I'll be showing you the, the software and, and on how that works so to animate the robot, basically you, it comes with a software. Um, there's poses, and these are represented by these little pictures in 3D. So um, to actually pose, you um, you just move the servers around. So it's like a keyframe of all all the joints, basically, and each joint only has one axis of uh, rotation. So this is kind of like FK, where you're moving the the parent and then the child. Or you can just drag the child around or endpoints around, so it's, it's so it's like a IK. So um, to animate, basically you just pose it however you want, and you hit the button to basically keep that pose. And once you have that, it's you know going to try to stay in that pose, um, and the the servos won't be movable anymore. <coughs> So we'll move on to another pose. This time we'll let him move down to the ground. And again, I'm just posing around. And hit a button when I'm happy with the pose. And let's add just one last one. This time we'll let him kind of touch the ground. So now I have uh, four poses. And you can see what that looks like by um, going back to the original pose and hit the play button. So, uh, Obviously one of the things I really need to do for animation is to be able to tweak the poses and the motion. So if I go to this first pose, uh, let's say if you want to uh, tweak with it, uh, you can. You can just rotate whatever you want around and turn it back on. And now you have um, basically that pose has been changed. Um, and then to the next one, let's say if you want that to be um, really fast, you can change the speed of it and then go on to the next pose. Let's say we, we do that even faster and change the speed. So, um, so you can tweak with it and uh, it's like stop motion except, uh, except you can play it back as many times as you want and you don't have to do the in-betweens and you can go back and tweak so it's a lot more flexible um, and this is what it looks like so move back so uh, that's basically how you uh, animate it and once you have the animation you like if you need more than seven poses you can tell it to go on to the next page which will give you seven more poses and you can make it so that it's loopable and uh, so you can create cycles and stuff like that so basically that's how, um, how you animate uh, this robot. Okay, the last thing I want to show here real quick is this behavior control programmer. 
this is a, another software that comes with the robot to define um, how your robot behaves uh, after you've done your motions and your animations and stuff. So um, it's all graphical. You can't type in the wrong thing because it's got a um, like the statements are all a drop down kind of thing. You can choose uh, from uh, different uh, icons that represent different things for um, the sensors basically. So you can say if you detected luminosity from the center or the right or um, you hear a sound or you hear a number of claps kind of thing. So for this example is if you hear uh, claps that's big or equal to two meaning if you hear more than two claps then you load this motion which has a number which is an animation that you've done so you can um, you can change all that and kind of get all this logic worked out the uh, kit comes with a lot of samples of um, different behaviors so you can kind of look through it and just kind of follow the logic and, um, and make sense of them and to learn that way or you can just look in the manual and tells you what each thing represents and what it does so you can uh, basically add behaviors to to your robot so you can make all the little animations and this is how you hook it at, all up together and how you trigger those animations. Here's an example of stock um, behavior and motion.